Hi everyone, welcome back. In case you are new here, I'm Jonathan, your tech informant. Today, I'll be showing you how you can install WordPress locally on your computer. If you are new here and you have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I release useful videos like this. We decided going with WordPress to build the online store for Cassandra. And one of the reasons why we choose WordPress is that we discovered that it would be easier for us to integrate a Nigerian payment gateway system into the website. Other platforms, some of them don't have the integration of a Nigerian payment system. And those that have, it was somehow very difficult to integrate them, very complex. The payment gateway we'll be using is Paystack. And mind you, if you have an online store and you can receive payment from your customer on your website, Definitely, you are not running an online store, but an online catalog. So that's in our mind. We've planned other things we are going to do on the website, like the look and feel, things we are going to use, the e-commerce platform, and the rest. Today, I'll be showing you how you can install WordPress on your computer. Before you install WordPress on your computer, you will need to install Apache Server, PHP and MySQL database server. You can install all of them once by downloading software like XAMPP, WAMP or MAMP. Installing this software on your computer is the easiest way to set up a WordPress site on your computer. So without saying much, let's start building a website. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to download WordPress and WAMP server from their website. You can download WordPress from wordpress.org and WAMP server from wampserver.com. So when you are done with the downloads, you now run the WAMP server setup and follow the instructions. While you are installing the WAMP server, you take note of the destination folder where the WAMP server will be installed. By default, it is WAMP64 folder on drive C because we'll be accessing that folder much later. When you are done with the installation of the WAMP server, there will be an icon, a WAMP server icon at the notification area of your desktop. So like in my own case, that two of the three services are running. That means one of the services are not running. As you can see, the WAMP icon is orange. That means that one of the services are not running. I have the Microsoft IIS server running. Probably they are conflicting so I need to change the port of the Apache server. If you find yourself in this situation, what you need to do is to right click on the icon, then click on tools and then you go to use a port other than 80. So if you have any other service that is using that port, you cannot change it to another port. Like in my own case, I changed it, I changed it from 80 to 8080. So if the icon is green, that means that all the services are running comfortably. So the next thing you need to do is you click on the icon, click on local host, and you have something like this on your browser. That means that one server is well installed on your system. So that's the first phase. That means you are good to go to install WordPress. So the next thing you are going to do is to copy the WordPress zip file that you downloaded and now go to the WAMP64 folder, open the WW folder and then paste it inside that folder. So when you have pasted there, you now open the WordPress zip file. You will see a WordPress folder in it. Just copy it and then go back to the WW folder and paste the folder there. So in this tutorial, I will label the WordPress folder Cassandra. This folder contains all the old files that makes up the website of the Cassandra store. Here we have the WP admin, WP content, WP includes and some other files. We are done copying the WordPress file into the folder that makes up the the website so let us check out the website and see what happens so like in my own system i'm going to go to localhost colon 8080 slash cassandra your own case it might be 80 or just localhost slash the name of your website so by going to this link you discover that what we have here is we have an error message establishing a data error establishing a database connection so we are having an error establishing a database connection, meaning that there's no database that has been connected to the website. 
So now we're going to fix it by setting up the database. We're going to set up the database by going back to the WAM server dashboard. If you check at the lower left the dashboard, you see PHP my admin. You click on the php my admin so that will take you to the php my admin login page so you enter the username root and the password should be blank and then the server choice is my sql and then you click go so that will take you to the php my admin database uh, system you check out the pane at the left side where you see things like new information schema mysql performance schema and sys all these are the basic database that makes the mysql to run so for you to set up your database you click on new under the create database you enter the name of your database and then choose the collection type here you'll be choosing utf8 general ci then when you are done you click create automatically the database has been created you can see it on the list of the database that is on the left side you can see cassandra-db which is our new database so let's try again to see if the website will connect to the database and we can see that we are still having the error establishing a database connection to fix this problem once again the database has been created but the front end cannot connect to the database so what we need to do is to do some little configuration so we'll go back to the cassandra folder you know we have the wp config sample file there just make a copy of that same file and then you change the name to wp-config only just as it is on the screen you now open it with any text editor here i'm using visual studio code as my text editor so what you need to do you scroll down to this particular line here you see define database name define username define password and the rest here we do the necessary changes by replacing database name here by the name of our database and then username here we replace it with the my php username which is root and then the password here we replace it with space or nothing because we don't have a password localhost still remain the same then we go down to the table prefix line then this is optional but for this project i will change it to ks standing for cassandra store this will be a prefix that will go with every table on the database so when you are done you save the file so we'll go back to the cassandra local website that is the localhost slash cassandra store then we we'll try to refresh the page so when we refresh the page we can see the wordpress logo is there with some list of languages so this shows that the front end has now been connected to the database so we are now on to set up the wordpress finally so you choose your preferred language and click continue this will lead you to the welcome page so on this page put the title of your website put the username and the password but bear in mind that the username and password you are putting here is not the one for the apache or the mysql but this one is the username and password that you use to log in into wordpress proper so for this tutorial i'll just make it the username and password admin admin and then for you to confirm your wiki password you have to tick confirm use of wiki password and then you put your email address and also on the search engine visibility there's another box there but I advise if you want to optimize your site for search engines you just leave it on check when you're done with this you now click install wordpress then when the installation is done it will not take you to this page you now click on login this will take you to the wordpress login page so here you are going to insert the username and password which is admin admin you click login this will take you to the wordpress dashboard so when you see something like this on your browser that means that wordpress is fully installed on your system so 
now it's time for you to start building your website also you will see that when you go back to the website that is the local host slash cassandra you will see something like hello world something like this will appear so now this is the front end and the dashboard is like the back end of your website so whatever thing you do at the in, at the back end will reflect on your front end ladies and gentlemen behold the cassandra website being installed on a local pc without writing any code so in my next video i will show you how to install a team with the team the look and feel of the web of the website will come alive and then we'll be replicating a website like this we'll be adding some functionalities by installing some other plugins on the site so if you want to get more from this tutorial if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and if this video has been useful to you please don't forget to like it and share it on your social media platforms and if you have any question and suggestion you want to share please feel free to drop it at the comment section i will gladly respond to each of them thanks for watching see you in the next one